ہوں جماعت So when you ask mercy from God, it means that you should be merciful first. Yes. If you want to ask something, first you should be at that state. Yes. <laughs> if you are going to be merciful in your family, among your friends, in the society, if you want to be a merciful, compassionate person, then ask Allah the mercy. Yes. Because Allah sees you that you have the capacity to be merciful, 
and there I give you mercy. Yeah. 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 When you want something, you should empty your heart from any enmity, all enmity should be out, and then this heart is empty for the mercy of God. Yes. And then you ask, so Allah yeah. gives you up. <laughs> they revolted, but a merciful revolution, without any weapon. So we don't want a weapon. We have God. <laughs> we have the strongest. The all power is here in your heart. This is not. Your hands are not the tools of your power. The store of power is here. Yes. Not they will his say. hand. You want to kill people by weapon and hand? Oh, no. Never. Rabbana atina min ladunka rahmatan wa hayya lana min amrina rashada. This was the supplication and prayer of this people. So we ask the same from Allah the Almighty. And, oh Allah, we ask you mercy, have mercy upon us, and then guide us. And then guide us to the best path. We want to be better, and we want to be best in serving you. We want to be your servant. We are servant. So please help us to be the best. This is Rosh. Like a kid, you want to grow up. <laughs> we are all kids. We want to grow up. But upon your training, not every train. Please train us. <coughs> please train us to be the best. We don't want to train ourselves upon this normal training, no. We want to be trained by you. Yes. Please train me. And then, there are three other stories. So, it takes time, those three stories. One, the second one is the story of two neighbors. One is rich, one is poor. This one, this is the second story. The third story is the story of Prophet Musa and Prophet Khidr. And the last story in this chapter is the story of Zulgarnain, one of the kings or prophets. So four stories are mentioned in this chapter. I ask you, to study better this chapter, to know these four stories, and then you can find out the relation of these four stories, how they are connected to each other. In those four, if you research more, you can see in all of those four, there is a kind of revolution. Sometimes revolution among two people, Sometimes a small group against a big group, and sometimes a revolution of one person. First, I should revolt against myself. Yes. Satan is here. Yes. I should revolt against myself. Yes. So if you wait for that demand, First, you should revolt against yourself. You should kill yourself. Kill all those worthy lost. And then you can find it in your heart. He is here. And as the, as the last word, Allah the Almighty, in a prophetic tradition, told us, if you want to be awake at midnight, at midnight, to worship Him alone, which is the best kind of worship, please recite the last verse of this chapter. 
when you want to sleep. And then you worry about Faj prayer. Maybe I'm not awake on time. So Allah the Almighty said in a prophetic tradition, recited the last verse of this chapter with ikhlas. This righteous intention, true intention. And then I awaken you. <laughs> Don't worry. It is very sweet that we trust in God and, and Allah the Almighty Himself waking us <laughs> at midnight. Okay, oh Allah, please awake. This is the time of prayer. Yes. And the last verse is Wul innama ana basharu mithluku. Tell, O oh Prophet, tell to people. I'm someone like you. They're not different. My even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad. His father and mother, they were not infallible. They were really no more people. Like us. For example, Prophet Adam was made by God. The Almighty, you know, he is a little different from us. Mm. He's made of God. <laughs> for many, for example, prophets, family and father, mother, parents were infallible. But fortunately, the most similar prophet to the common people is our prophet. Yes. Yes. For example, when you see Prophet Jesus Christ. You know, his birth is really a miracle. Yes. So people say, okay, we cannot be like Jesus Christ. He's so divine, he's quite different. Or when you see, for example, Prophet Musa, Musa and his son, you know, his birth was again, again a miracle, you know. Pharaoh and Pharaoh was looking for him, I know many stories. But you know, the prophet, very normal. Nothing happened. Very common man. And because of that, Holy Prophet was telling the people, I'm like you. You are so, so similar. I'm among you. You highlight. It is very interesting. He said, I receive revelation and what is the message of God? The most important message of God to Holy Prophet, not to us. But to me. Even Allah is telling me, O oh Muhammad, I am one. Believe in my unity. Ignore all other things. Only understand me and in this world only look for me. There is nothing but me. Yes. Oh. Oh. This is the meaning of the unity of God. Don't look at this world. Don't look at money. Don't be fear. Be strong. Because I'm with you. Don't be afraid of anything. Only I live in this world. Yes. There is nothing. So if we understand the unity of God, only this message. When I'm praying, I have to imagine that only you are standing before me. Nothing else. I only work for you. There's nothing else. Don't look at people, don't look at around. Only God. When you want to build this mosque, this masjid, this musalla, only imagine God. I'm working for your sake. Nothing else. If all these people, if all these people curse me, again I work for you. For your sake. Not for sake of people. Yes. Imam Ali alayhi salam. Wow,